everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the Radiant Ranks. It's me, your dude, Koster Ali, and today I'm very excited to make this video as it is going to be a match trick. And as well as being a trick, it's also a very cool strategy that I use when I check my answers in mathematics. And it's called casting out nines. Well, have any of you heard it before? Well, if you haven't, I suggest you watch this video till the end so you don't miss out on any cool steps that I will be sharing with you. So, my friends, this trick is mainly to check your answers for addition, subtraction, division, or multiplication. And how to make sure you get your answers correct. However, today, I will only be focusing on addition and I will save the other three for later. So today, we will be checking out this method, casting out nines, as you can see over here. Now, firstly, let's prepare a list to make it easy for adding the equation of addition of what numbers equal to 9. So, what numbers do equal to 9? They are 0 and 9, 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 5. And then, once you add continue adding they'll just flip over like 5 plus 4 6 plus 3 so on so now we will get into adding so the first number is 43 plus 63 which equals 106 now we will use this uh, we'll use this method to check if our answers are correct but when we do it we have to reduce them down to a single digit when they equal a two digit number so, now let's add 4 plus 3. Now, are, do any numbers equal to 9 or are 9? No. So, we just have to add like normal. So, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Those are our substitutes. Then, we move on to 63. Now, do any numbers equal 9? Yes, they do. 6 and 3 equal 9. So, now we can cast them out or remove them. And now we have no numbers to add, so we just write a zero over that. Now, what we have to do is just add seven and zero over here. And when we add them, when we add any number by zero, it just equals itself. And it is a single digit two, not a two digit. So the, so our check answer is seven. Now what we have to do is add add 1 0 and 6 together and if they equal 7 our answer is correct but if they but if it doesn't then we have made a mistake so 1 plus 0 plus 6 what does that equal that equals 7 and now when we also did that there were no numbers that equal 9 so we just had to add them all and wow our numbers are the same and 7 and 7 relate. So our answer from 106 and our check answer are correct. So the equation is now correct. Now let's move on to another one and a more harder one. So guys, now, now let's do some higher numbers for more of a challenge. Now they are 102, 349, then 752 and then the last number is 8513 now you can just add these numbers right now if you wish and then even i will add them too and what i got for the answer was 9716 you can calculate that later too now let's use our method of casting out nines so first we will start off with the first number as usual. Now, do any numbers over here equal 9 or are 9? No. So now what we have to do is just add them up as usual. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. So that's our first substitute. Then the second number. 3, 4 and 9. Do any numbers equal 9 or add up to 9? Yes, of course. It's right in front of our eyes. The number 9. So we can immediately cast it out. And then we can just add 3 plus 4. And that equals 7. So that's our second substitute. Then we do 7, 5, and 2. Do any numbers over here equal to 9 or are 9? Yes, they are 7 and 2. So we can just cast that out too. And then we've got the number 5. Now as there's nothing to add, we just write 5. 
And then for the last number, it's 8,513. Are there any numbers over here equal to 9 or R9? Yes, they are 8 and 1. The first number and the third digit. So we can cast it out. And then we just have 5 and 3 to add 2. And that equals 8. So now as those are our substitutes, we can add them up. And that equals 23. But wait, 23 is a two-digit number. So, But we have to reduce it down to make it a one-digit number. So then what we have to do is just add both the digits, so 2 plus 3, and that equals 5. So now the numbers are 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 8, and that equals 5. Now, that is our check answer. And now we will add the answer, which is 9,716. We can add up all the digits to get 5. But wait, do any numbers add up to 9 or equal 9? Yes, there is another 9, so we can cast that out immediately, which is directly in front of our eyes. Then we have 7, 1, and 6 to add. And none of those numbers equal to 9 or are 9. And that equals 14. And now, as it is a two-digit number again, we have to reduce it down to a single digit. And all we have to do is just add both the digits. So 1 plus 4 equals 5. Wow, both our answers relate. So uh, the number seven, 9,716 when we add equals 5 and is, is the same as a check answer. So the equation is correct. Yahoo! So now our last numbers to add are 269, so 269, and 528, 528. And then I calculated it and you guys can calculate too, and I got the answers 1007 as you can see here. Now let's use our method of casting out 9 to see if it's correct. Now, let's start off with the first number as usual. Do any numbers equal to 9 or are 9? Yes. There is 9, which is right in front of our eyes, so we can cast it out immediately or remove. Then we have the last numbers 2 and 6 to add up to, and they that equals 8. So that's our first substitute. Then the last number is 528. Do any numbers equal to 9 or are 9? No. So what we have to do is just add them up. So 8 plus 2 is 10 and 5 is 15. But ho hold on, that is a two digit number, but we have to reduce it to a one digit. So then we can just add up the numbers. So 1 plus 5 and that equals 6. So then here you can just write a 6. So that's our second substitute. And then we have to add up those numbers, and 8 plus 6 is 14. And then, as it is a two digit number, we have to again reduce it to one digit. So, all we do is 1 plus 4, and that equals 5. And that is our check answer. Now, we have to add up the number 1007 together. And, and do any numbers over here equal to 9 or are 9? No. So then we have to directly just add up the numbers. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7 equals 8. Wait, hold on. That answer is not correct because our check answer was 5, but our answer over here is 8. So it is incorrect. And now we have to do the other working out. And I will write the correct one and get back to you guys. Okay, and I got 797 seven, and you can also calculate it too. And now let's see if it is correct now. Now, and let's use our method. So again, we can add the 269, and our last answer was 8, so we can write 8, and also casting out 9. And then our other number was nothing equal to 9, so it was 6. Okay, so now for 528, no numbers equal to 9 or add up to 9, and we got an answer of 15, and that we reduced it to a one-digit number, and that equals 6 by adding 1 plus 5. And then we add those numbers, and that equals 14, and again, we have to reduce it to a one-digit, so 1 plus 4 equals 5. And then all we have to do is just add up 8 and 5, and that is 13. And then, and then for the answer 797, seven, we have to add that up and get a number of 5. So we can just cross out 9 directly because, because there, it equals to 9, 2. And then we just add 7 and 7, and that equals 14. 
But as it is a two digit, we just make it a one digit. So one plus four equals five. Wow, the answer is correct. Our check answer and the answer of 797 equals 5. So now it is officially correct. So everybody, now did you see that this method is really cool? And it is, and it is a very helpful way of checking your answers without a calculator. Okay, everyone. So now that we finished this casting our 9 trick, it may not be 100% correct, it could be 99.9% .9 correct, and if you added up the numbers and followed along with us, and if you didn't get them correct, you can follow, you can go back and check our answers too, to see if it's correct, and then use the method of casting out 9. Okay guys, hopefully you found this video useful and very helpful also, and make sure to comment down below because I'd love to hear from you too. And also make sure to follow us on Facebook because we are now there too. And if you guys have any other cool math tips and tricks, make sure to put it down in my personal Gmail in the link in the description below. With your name and where you're watching from and what the cool math trick is called. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, and well of course, definitely subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos coming up. And make sure to stay tuned and stay excited. Till then, bye!